Never done this. Alright, so. Let's see what happens. I guess it will. We'll find out, right? Well, what do you think? Not bad. Could have been worse. That's the way. That's the ticket right there. What do you think? Got her jammed up a little bit up in here, but I'll just try and sand all that out. Alright, time to work on the fitting for this rat tail tang. Don't want to get too crazy, nice and easy, a little bit at a time, get yourself a perfect fit. Right now, it seems I just barely need to take out a little more, right up at the top. As soon as I get my width, And start working on the fitting it the other way. Let's 
Let's see what we got. There we go, baby. Ooh. I like this triangly triangle file. This this one here kind of just cuts up into brass, different angles. sure y'all have seen enough of this <clears throat> so sides are looking good all right sun's getting ready to set about time to take Every time to take my old boy Bonzo out for an evening walk, and I'm gonna keep working on this finger guard. Probably gonna put some, uh, I'm still gonna put a little piece of burl up in there, but I don't know. This thing's gonna be sweet if I can pull it off. We shall see how it goes. Pretty tough. Is he? What's he want? Huh? Does he want something? Let me see it. Alright, I'll get you something. You're getting lucky tonight, aren't you? One at a time. Chew it up.
All right, here we go. We got that. Let's go. Bam. Sandy and the coating off of this knife tang to help with the uh, bonding of the metal, the epoxy, and the antler. I learned the hard way once in the past. I had put some scales on a full tang knife and found I after I was done, or thought I was done, I realized that it wasn't having too strong of a hold. Because all it was holding to was the coating on, on the knife. Dang. That makes sense. So, you always want all of your surfaces to be nice and roughed up. And clean of any dust and crap and all that stuff. Alright, here we go. I'm never happy with anything at this point. Never really totally satisfied with any of my projects. I do. I always see things I can do better. Maybe I could take just a little bit more time on them, but a lot of times I don't have time. Got so many different things going on. Besides when I'm out in the woods with Bonzo. I can't build this out there in the woods. You can do in little parts of it like that elk antler. A little bit of that I can do out there. But for the most part, it is what it is. But who, who has all the time in the world? Nobody. Some of the ones that do have all the time in the world... They just want to sit in front of the uh, boob tube and eat Cheetos and be large and in charge. Large and in charge of the surfa and the Cheetos. Alright, so here we go. Alright, baby, here we go. Good to the last drop. In my opinion, I would never use five minute epoxy to set a knife handle. It just doesn't seem to hold up as well as the longer cure time or longer set time epoxies. In my opinion. There's plenty of videos on YouTube, people testing the different epoxy brands and Go check them out. They're pretty cool if you're into making knives or doing anything with epoxy. Alright. What first? First thing going down. We got the knife guard. Let me make sure. You can see I got everything laid out right here. Right on time, I hear that train coming up the tracks.
thing that I do not do is I do not solder the finger guard to the knife blade. I see people doing it and it looks like they've got it down. I used to be a plumber and I know how to solder. I feel like I'm pretty damn good at it when it comes to copper pipes. And I don't know. I just don't. I don't want to risk messing a knife blade up, especially when I'm not rich. Spend all this time working on something like this and have it heat it up too much. That would that would really suck. Just compromise the whole project. Chopstick. Got brass guard, spalted burl, some kind of spalted burl, a little uh, piece of leather stack, elk antler. We'll see how it goes. I'll get back to y'all when this is set. Now comes the fun part, doing the shaping and sanding. I might do some work on this guard too. I guess I should have done all that before I put the knife together. But, eh, we'll see how it goes. See how it feels.
What are you doing, Fungy Bungy? You ready to rock and roll, dude? I'm gonna go up the mountain. Hmm? Yeah? Do ya? I'm pretty happy with the way this is fit up. Just taking 220 along the transitions between the antler. I got a little stack of leather right here. And then this burl fan along the river. This driftwood burl. But I feel like it's a pretty smooth transition. I'll get you all a better look in the light. I'm going to move to 320 grit. 400 and then 600 and that's where I'll stop get this antler cleaned up this whole thing polished up a little bit we'll get back at you what are you doing stinky sneaking around over there you gotta stay over here with me all right, we're gonna go up there soon. Between your teeth and my one big old fang here, maybe we could take out a bear. What do you think? It's all finished up, folks. Pretty happy with it. It's nice and solid. 1095 high carbon. Jeff White blade blank. Long hunter style. Rat tail tang. I fabricated this brass guard myself. Made it myself. Pretty happy with it for a first attempt at that. With the little blade catcher up here on the back side and a little finger guard down below locks in my hand nice can choke down on it too and my thumb I kind of sanded and filed it so I could have my thumb kind of locked in right there nice fighting knife Got this uh, burl, a fan along the river. That turned out real pretty. Put a stack of leather as a transition between the burl and the elk antler. There's my little my little mark I put on the stuff that I make. I ended up putting a little bit of the serpent's tail back here on this side. And I didn't do too much with it. That's going to wear in nice. Uh, this is the side that will be rubbing against my body when I have this in a knife sheath. So I'll polish that side up nice. And then I'm really happy with the way the serpent turned out. I ended up doing just a little nick right here for the tail going back into the mouth. So I guess this could be Jormungandr, the Midgard Serpent. a pretty badass blade in my opinion i really like it really happy with it 
a little bit better than the last one, I think. Just got to get better every time I do something. That's what I try. Try to just make every project better than the last one. That's all you can do. Don't think I'll ever be fully satisfied with any of my work, but it's all right. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. If you haven't subscribed, maybe if you'd like to see more work like this, outdoors stuff, survival stuff, maybe subscribe to the channel and hit that bell and it'll alert you when I pop new videos out. Welcome to the new subscribers. Howdy to the old. And I guess I'll catch you all on the next one. Have a good one.